<laughs> nice. Hey Indy, what are some of your favorite games from 2018? Very specific question, random stranger and not my own voice. I'd probably say Wonder Song and Celeste. And 2017? Night in the Woods, for sure. I'm sold. I was lucky enough to get my hands on the demo for Chicory, and it's a tough game to describe. However, it's easy to describe how this game makes me feel. Joy, some curiosity, touch of whimsy, and a little bit of childhood wonder. From the moment I picked up the titular Chicory's paintbrush, I was in love. Using the paintbrush is simple. Left click to paint, right click to erase. Painting the game is so fun that upon learning how to change colors, I started painting my face onto the ground simply because it was fun. Really, really fun. In the world of Chicory, the world is your canvas. In addition to beautifying the world around you, your paint can be used in a fashion similar to HMs in Pokemon or items in Zelda. Once you wrap your head around all the ways you can manipulate your environment, traversing the world becomes a blast with the help of your brush. You can even find articles of clothing as rewards for solving environmental puzzles. So, the better you are at exploring, the fresher you can look. The world of Chicory is bursting at the seams with lovable characters too. Cola, I would die for you. The Picnic Province is filled with all sorts of cute critters, and here's the kicker. They're all named after foods. Even the player character fits the mold. When you start up the game, you're not asked for your name. You're asked for your favorite food, and that's how I ended up with a character named Baja Blast. The characters of the Picnic Province also have a penchant for being helpful. Most of your interactions with them involve them asking for help, but teaching you how to use your brush in the process. Characters like Lemon and Pumpernickel helped me to learn how to switch colors in a race by being picky about the colors I was painting their homes, but I never felt like I had a tutorial forced on me. These felt like the natural requests of cute, fluffy animals that helped me hone my skills as a master painter. My favorite characters by far, though, are Baja Blast's parents. Whenever I feel like I need advice, I always give my parents a call, and Chicory handles this feeling perfectly. Mom provides general advice for those looking to avoid spoilers, but Dad can nab the phone and tell you exactly what to do if you're a player in need of a little more direction. While the world of Chicory feels like a wholesome affair, this all flew out the window as soon as I reached the final moments of the demo. The tone took a hard turn from lighthearted to dark when Baja was pulled into the darkness and faced a shadowy being that would have felt right at home in Undertale or Kirby. And the only way to fight back was with paint. This fight was frantic, fun, maybe a little bit terrifying, and all this was amplified by Lena Rain's soundtrack. If the ethereal synths of this fight sound familiar, that's because Lena also composed the stellar soundtrack of Celeste. That's right, the composer of Celeste's soundtrack, one of 2018's best video game OSTs, is behind the soundtrack of this too. The Chicory team also includes M. Halberstadt, let me know if I got your name wrong, as sound designer who worked on Night in the Woods and Wander Song. But behind the wheel of this entire ship is Greg Lobanov, the visionary behind Wander Song, a game so good that Steam thought it was fake because its reviews were so overwhelmingly positive. I could, and I probably will, do another video on how much I love Wander Song, but we'll save that for another time. This team has such a stellar track record that I wholeheartedly recommend checking out the Kickstarter. As of now, Chicory has already smashed its funding goal with over 20 days to go, but this game deserves all the love it can get. If you're interested and you have the money, consider supporting the devs by backing the Chicory Kickstarter. If you can't, that's okay too. You can still help by wishlisting Chicory on Steam and telling your friends about this cool game featuring a dog with a paintbrush. Overall, the time that I spent in the world of Chicory was an absolute joy, and I can't wait to see this artful adventure finished. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe or check out my other stuff. If you're a big fan of indie games, I stream on Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays on Twitch. Thanks for watching, and peace out, Alpaca Pack. When I say this is the greatest video game I've ever played, that seems like it's the correct statement. I cannot, there's no way any video game can be more perfect than this one.